Hey guys, so right here we have two panels that are polished but only one is ready for coating or LSP. Can you tell which is the one? Take a closer look. Difficult to tell, isn't it? That's because proper paint inspections require IPA wipe down to remove the remnant polishing oil um, that might mask the true finishing of a paintwork. Can you now see the difference? Let's dive deeper. So let's talk about paintwork inspection in proper manner, specifically right after you finish your final polishing stage. Polishing contains polishing oil and it's actually one of the major contribution or major factor why after several weeks of washes, the micro swirls or the hairline defects, scratches reappear. It's because the polishing oil were masking the defects in the first place. And it's actually worse if you only realize it after applying a layer of LSP like coating because the soles are now underneath the coating and you can't remove it unless you polish the entire panel. So if you're a professional detailer, you want to avoid this and this is how you deliver true finishing after each final polishing stage. First thing first, if you have proper lighting setup like our detailing center, that's great. If not, you could probably get something like this, which is a portable one. But today, I want to showcase something that everyone can afford or everyone can have access to, which is the Soul Finder pen light. So this is inexpensive and you can probably get it. I, I don't know, in Malaysia, we sell it for very cheap. So if you're around Malaysia, get it from us. And it does the job and it's portable. So first thing, you don't want to shine it too near because you get blindsided, right? You want to go at a certain distance and when you're at a certain distance, move it around and you can actually see all the swirls appear. Fluorescent light, sunlight or any sort of flood light, we don't actually recommend it for hairline imperfections like micro swirls or haze because you can't actually see much with flood lights. Whereas a more focused ray beam like um, the spotlight, like this baby here, or even the swirl finder pen light, like the one that I showed you guys earlier, it has a more focused ray and it reveals every single imperfection when you angle it correctly. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention is that try to avoid pollution, light pollution if possible. For example, if you have a place like ours, you can roll down the shutters, you can cover off a bit. That is perfect. So this is what every detailers are accustomed to. We polish the paint, and then we buff off the polishing residue, and then we inspect. But we have to remember that the polishing abrasive contains polishing oil, and there'll be remnants on top of this that might sit flush or cover the micro imperfections like hairline scratches or micro swirls on the paint. So allow me to explain. Polishing abrasive, when they are formulated, they do contain some sort of polishing oil. Um, it's vital that they include this because they need it as a form of controlled cutting on the paint, right? You don't want to have abrasive or dry aluminium oxide rubbing on top of your paint. And whenever we polish, I'm just gonna squeeze this out a bit on my hand, right? Whenever we polish, whenever we buff, it's not always entirely 100% clean, right? Sometimes you will see streaks. Um, that's the indicator of polishing oil. An example that I can think of is when we sand down or we are performing a sanding job, uh, we don't dry sand the paint, so to speak. We will introduce a sort of lubrication of water, we spray on it and then we wet sand it. So similarly, the polish abrasive contains polishing oil as well. Um, that is the so-called lubrication to suspend um, the abrasive so that when you polish, it's actually uh, performing an even cutting. So the very same polishing oil, um, that is the oil that might cover or might hinder us from looking at micro imperfections. Wax is also a form of oil or lipid. Sometimes a wax will cover imperfections on paint as well. So the next thing after you have your proper lighting setup or your soul finder pen purchase, sell it on our website. <laughs> The second thing to do is to use a diluted IPA to wipe off um, the remnants of the polishing oil. This is diluted one-to-one, -one, right? So different manufacturers, when they manufacture or when they formulate different abrasive, they will include either a mineral oil or a synthetic or a natural oil. So we know that different oil have different characteristics. 
Some are broken down easier um, during the polishing stage. Once you hit certain temperature, the oil starts to break down. It's easier for us to buff off, whereas some are more tenacious. Um, takes very long for the oil to break down. So what we do is, we introduce the usage of IPA. IPA denature protein and also oil. If you remember during the corona days, you know, we use uh, IPA to sanitize our hand and then immediately you actually feel that your hand becomes very dry. That is because the natural oil that is present on your hand are actually dissolved. So regardless, usage of IPA is important because it will reveal the true finishing of the paint by removing the oil. If we do not do that, what we are actually doing is we are actually spreading the oil evenly. After all, buffing means evening out, right? So you're actually evening out the oil. It doesn't make a purpose of us inspecting the paint. So here's an interesting demonstration that I'll be performing for our audiences. Very serious because this is the secret to paint work perfection. Never be shown before, exclusively on our YouTube channel. Right, so I'll actually be splitting down this panel into two parts and I'll try to finish down. Um, the plot twist here is that they are both going to be different formulations and then I'll show you how this oil, polishing oil, will actually cover up the defects and then we'll perform an IPA spray down. There's one important factor is that, you know, whenever we are using a polish abrasive, always follow the instructions on the product label or by the manufacturers. Right, most of them will tell you that you want to polish it until it flashes. That is where we know we have achieved optimal cutting and that the remnants of the polishing oil is easier to buff. So for example, I've polished um, more time here until the product flashes. It's a bit transparent. Here you can actually still see their streaks opaque. Now if we don't break down the polishing oil enough, what will happen is that when you try to buff it off, it's going to be very difficult, right? Compared to the ones that are clear up. So in that case, you uh, know that the polishing oil has properly broken down and that's easier to buff. And also, you don't want to over polish it where it's too dry. Um, one of the indicators is that this, this entire pad will become very grabby. Take a closer look. Both of this section looks very good and it's probably ready for a nail speed like wax or coating. But we have not inspected it with a proper IPA wipe down. So what we will do next is we will actually use the IPA and then we will inspect whether the finishing it's completed or not. <laughs> I'm gonna get in the hospital because of breathing all these vapors, man. So one of the difficulties of doing infotainment and showing 50-50 is that what our eyes see and what the camera can actually capture is actually very different. The other thing is that even though both of this, they actually look LSP ready, you can actually see micro soles here and on this finishing, it's way, way better or at least to my eyes. This will serve as the control so that you can see the before, after, after, one, after two. IPA this down, real life. We don't actually do this. We don't do this, but ah, just showing you guys, just proving a point. So I'll just explain quickly. You can actually see that pain here, um, the micro swirls are actually quite obvious, but we have achieved a pain correction rate of approximately, I would say 60%. Of course, end user, they would not go up close um, like how we do and inspect the paint. Um, they look things from afar and some people might say, hey, this is enough for me. This is LSB ready for me. It's up to you. As we move on to the next one here, which is the control panel. Now you can see um, definitely this one has a lot of improvement, whereas this is just very horrible. And if we move on to the second finish, that is the true finishing, um, we have actually achieved, you can actually tell that the improvement is better than the first one and I would say the pain correction rate um, is about 75 to 80% and for me this is what I would like to achieve in my um, detailing journey or approach before I LSP my own car. So this is actually a better finish compared to the first one. To recap today's video, um, two things that will help to improve your inspection or paintwork correction in the near future. Number one, get a proper light inspection. Number two, IPA or mineral spirit if that works for you, whichever is available for you. So be sure to get these two ready in your future detailing. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe or like. Um, I mean, that would definitely help to share out the video. 
But instead, why don't you engage us? Let us know what you have in your mind, what you wish to learn in the near future, or any questions about detailing or paintwork correction, ask us down in the comments below. That's all. Okay, thanks, bye.